Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go over NQ. We're going to trade it this past week and see how profitable we are in real time. And I know last time I did this video, you guys love this kind of stuff. So I'm just going to post a, one video a week of this, just trading the previous week live and seeing why I took the trades, go over my thought process, just so we can kind of see the potential profit that you could get for your own account if we learned how to trade price action. If, if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures, and it's taken me just over two years to become consistently profitable. Lots of trial and error took me lots of pain, but over time I became more consistent, and I believe that you will as well if you're not already. So without further ado, let's dive into the charts. We are taking a look here at NASDAQ, and hit that thumbs up button if you like these kind of videos. It lets me know that you like this kind of stuff, so I'll, I'll keep doing this once a week. I'll just trade the previous week live, and we'll see how it goes. Starting off, it's a Monday. We're just going to use the five minute chart only. And I'm going to fast forward to 930. We're going to trade the, the morning session also. So let's see where we're at at around 930. Basically, when we do these kind of videos, if you're not familiar, we wait for the first candle to form and we're just pra trading market structure and price action with no indicators. So right now we can see we were bull uh, bearish and then we pushed up, kind of waked all the liquidity, but then closed back down. So I like to still classify this as bearish. And basically, we're seeking new lows. So, you know, we could get into short here and target the lows, but I wouldn't because my stop would have to be way above this wick. And we don't want to do that. So we're going to wait for another candle to form. Took out the lows, the liquidity, and closed back up. So now, because of this, and this makes me think that we're going to seek the liquidity above this wick. But I'm not going to take that trade because I don't like that we're still in a bearish market structure. So I'm gonna let some more candles form. Real quick, if, you, if you're unsure on how I'm trading, you can click the link up above. I'm gonna tag the video of all the candlestick patterns and how I personally trade to become profitable every single day. So just click that link there if you wanna see the strategy behind what I'm showing in this video. All right, so we have a rejection. This is just choppy for me. What time is it now? 9.45, bit of a pullback. If we saw more buying, we could get in a long. Okay, this I like, I would take the long here. Now, why would I take the long? It's a little bit of risky long, but I'm gonna try the long place to stop just below this wick. And you're thinking, why would I do that? Well, we were bearish. We wicked all the liquidity, took all the stops below and then closed back up. So this makes me think we're bullish, but I want more confirmation. We came up, got rejected, and then made a higher low and closed back up again. So this makes me think we're bullish, but this is in the early stages, so I'm gonna have to do half size on this trade because it's not enough confirmation, but I'm just gonna put the stops below. I'll give it some space. I'll do like 20 point stop, and then target would be above, above the wick to the left. So it's a 1.7R, a half size, so we're gonna go with um, two contracts. So full size for me is four contracts, uh, two contracts on NQ here, and we're gonna see how this plays out. Okay, that looks really good now. Um, looks good. Oh, perfect. All right, so plus 35 points. We're going to keep track. I'm only taking one or, two, one or two trades per morning. That's kind of my rule, especially if we're trading the five minute, one to two trades per morning. Um, again, this was a great trade because we had the higher low, a bunch of liquidity. I, I like it. I think of this as liquidity. If we, we push down, we close in the opposite direction, right? So we pushed up, closed in the opposite direction. So we're, we're bearish, took out all the lows, but then closed up. So I thought we were bullish, but I wanted to see a higher low. And I liked this reversal candle. So I got in, put the stop below, targeted the high, and uh, that went well. That was a really good trade, 35 points, uh, half size. Um, I'm gonna write it down as seven, 17 points, because it's half size times two contracts and let's see if we get one more trade before 12 so we have to keep in mind we took out all the liquidity and we're pushing we're pulling back so what i like to see is if we came down to about 16 10 or so and found some buying we could take another long and target the highs again just just like that if we had i mean that's like a start if we had a green candle close we could just take a long yeah i don't like that rejection candle but if we want to be risky we would just take a long right here, put the stop below that low and target the highs, but I wouldn't because of that rejection. Okay, we already went up. So, all right, so we wanna see if that's a lower high. Nah, it's gonna break the high. 
I still think it's gonna break the high. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so took out the high. Probably done. Ooh, yeah, I like that rejection candle. Makes me think we wanna fill the space to downside. We did that already. Yeah. Here's another long even. Just just cause we're gonna go a trend just for the sake of this video, because I'm curious. Way to take a quarter size trade. Stop below 17, uh, stop below this wick, TP new high. And uh, this is quarter size, so one contract long. All right, all right, we may get stopped up. Let's just skip along. Oh, all right, I'm moving my stops to break even. Stops are now break even. See if it hits. Boom. All right, so that was quarter size. Well, actually, we'll just write down 32 points times one contract. And the other one we'll just write down as 35 points times two, two contracts. All right, so let's... Let's copy this. We're done for the morning. And let's move on to the next day. Real quick, if, you, if you're unsure on how I'm trading, you can click the link up above. I'm gonna tag the video of all the candlestick patterns and how I personally trade to become profitable every single day. So just click that link there if you wanna see the strategy behind what I'm showing in this video. All right, so let me just delete this and we'll go over to the next day now. Okay, so here we are Tuesday at 8 a.m. We're gonna speed ahead to about 9.30. Okay, there's 8.30. Nine twenty. There we go. Nine thirty. Okay, so we're bearish, All right? We came down, took out all the lows, swept the liquidity, pushed up. This could be a lower high. We got rejected. I would think we would come down to about fifteen nine sixty, but I'm not going to take any trade yet. We got to wait for the candle to. Okay, so that's the first candle pushed up. A little bit of rejection, but you, we could argue that we're bullish now because we, we pushed up, we made a high, came down, made a higher low, and there's our higher high. So we could be seeking the liquidity to left about 16, 12. Remember, we're, we're bullish. For me to take a trade, I would like us to trade all the way down here and show some buying. Um, here is a little bit risky. We could trade right here and show some buying. So, you know, a risky long is, is longing right now, to be honest, for, for highs. But I'm not going to do that one. Yeah glad we didn't take that trade so I think we're, we're gonna come down to here first all right so I can't get any longs yet and I don't want to short anything possible trade is shorting right now for the space down below but I want to wait one candle okay so it happened if we get down here and show buying I could take a long Still don't like that candle. Oh, I missed it. Eh? I missed it. Maybe there was news there. All right, okay, so I possibly missed the trade. It could just push up and take up the highs now. Ooh. Okay, so this I like. All right, it has to be quarter size though. I know I'm not taking full size trades, and the reason why this is quarter size is because we went bullish. And then we had an unfinished space down below, so it's sketchy to take along. Then we came down and filled the space, got some buying, came down and filled that space with a big rejection wick pushing to the upside. So what that allows me to do is take a, a, a long, put the stop below that wick, and first target be new highs. So it's about a one-to-one. -one. And then an eventual target would be up there. So here's what I'll do. If we got above these highs, but not above these highs, I'd move myself to break even. But for now, we'll keep it here. And again, it's quarter size. So we're basically here, and we're in a quarter size long for one contract. Oh, we're going to see how this one goes. All right, that's a great, great trade. I would add. No, not yet. Rejection. All right, we'll wait. We'll watch. All right. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add one contract and put my stop real tight below the slow. 
So we have one contract there. Another contract is here. Uh, since the stop is tight, we're going to put our TP just above that wick on this trade. Yep. So 9 points stop on one contract, eight, uh, 19 points stop on the other contract. And this is uh, how it'll play out. So 13 points upside. Yeah, we're going to watch and see. Ooh. We don't know. Is there news? No news. Okay, let's just assume we got stopped out of the ad. So we lost 9 points, but then we made 23. So we're net 14 points on that trade. Alright, so plus 14 points times 1 con. Um, now let's see what happens. Oh my god. Alright. Now if I want to take another long, I want us to come all the way back down and show some buying. Oh, and we did that. Okay. Alright, let's try. We'll do another one. I don't want to risk profit, so again, we're doing one contract. Stop below this wick. And target is above the highs. So we're, we're risking all of our profits at this point. Okay. There we go. Okay, stop's going to be break even. And we'll see if we take out the highs. Oh, nice. Okay, so 36 points. Now oh, we're doing great. Plus 36 points times one con and I hope you can understand why they're not full size trades because it's not as clear and when it's not very clear like this I don't go as heavy on size also when I already have profits I don't go as heavy on size um, what time is that 1130 yeah we're, we're not, I'm not going to look at anything anymore so let me just copy this and we'll add that here And then we will add this, and then we'll go over to the next day. And I'll total, I'll total all the profits. And just, just so you can understand how much profit this is, I'll, to, I'll total the profits right here. This is plus 1.4K because it's $20 per point. This one is plus 600. This is plus 720. Whoops, 720. And then this is plus 280. I'll do some quick math here on my calculator. Wow, adds up to an even plus 3K USD. So, so far, is that only two trading days? Two trading days. Um, you're not using big size. Um, this, is, this is the type of size you would use if you had like a $20,000 account. Uh, we're up 3k in the first two days so I know this video is gonna get pretty long we'll do one more day we'll do Wednesday and we'll see where we end up on Wednesday and if you like these kind of videos let me know in the comments down below and I'll do a full week so that way we can see how it goes but I want to take up a, a, too much of your time if you end up getting bored so let's move on to the next day now over to uh, Wednesday okay here we are Wednesday 8 a.m. Uh, 8:30. Let's go over to 9.30. This will be the last day. 9.30. Okay, we're clearly bullish. Clearly bullish right now, but no longs. We want to wait for a pullback. Good rejection. Okay. So one strategy that we can do is when there's a bunch of unfinished space up here, if we get like a lower high, lower low, then we can short and target all the space below. So right now we have a high, we have a lower high, and a rejection candle. So if we came below this low to the left, we could take a short, stops above the highs, target the space below. Because that's a that's a bearish market structure that formed up there with all this, okay. All right, so they did it all in one candle. So no short for, oh, so we're bearish. We're bearish now. Uh, that happened fast. I'm sure if we were watching the one minute or the three minute chart, we could have got in a short there, but on the five minute, it kind of all happened in one candle. So I'm looking for shorts now, but I have to get, I have to wait for a pull. Ah, we just keep going. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, so, I mean, really you can short now. I hate shorting at this kind of moment because there's so much space to the upside unfin unfilled. We have a rejection candle, so it's a really obvious short to short for new lows right here. But I don't like that there's all space up there. So if I was to take this trade, it would have to be quarter size, not even half size, because I think we could just keep going up first and then you know get a rejection up here. And that's where I'd be looking you know more for a short. So why not? First, let's just show our track record here. This is what we're currently working with. So let's see, let's take a short. Let's take a short now. Stop above the wick and target new lows. So it's a one to one. 20 point stop, 22 point TP. Let's watch and see. All right. I'm just gonna move stops to break even, just make it a risk free trade. Nice. Don't like that though. I think we'll get stopped out of break even. That's a higher low. Ooh. Okay, okay. Ah, yeah. Break even. Okay, so that's a break even trade. Let's see if it would have stopped us out. Yep. All right. Great trade. Good risk management. So, again, I stopped. I moved myself to break even. Why? Because, like I said, it was risky to begin with because we had all this unfinished business. But then when we pushed into profits, I'm like, let's let's just lock it and let's just move, make it a risk-free trade. That's what I would normally do because I'd be afraid that we could go up. And then I would super move this to break even after that reversal candle. It was a reversal candle making a higher low. So to me, when I see that, I think that we're gonna target the highs. And they did that. So we could be in a bullish market structure now. However, um, we're still below these highs, so I still think we're bearish. I just think that they're gonna fill more space first before continuing lower. Um, we could try another trade. Actually, no, we can short here. Just Yeah, we can short right now and just target the space to the left because it's already a one-to-one. -one. It's all that unfinished business. So short again, stop above the wick, targeting just the space to the left. Yeah, because we can get 15 points, one-to-one. -one. Uh, half size, this is half size because I like this set up so two contracts short nice I think we'll go a little lower just fill there perfect perfect so um, that trade was plus 15 points times two cons equals plus uh, 600 yeah because one contract would be plus 300 two is 600 okay so now we're at plus 3.6 K and we'll see if we get one more trade. It's already cutting it close. So let's see if we find one more trade. Again, we're bearish. Yeah, we're definitely bearish now. I'm only gonna go until about 11.30. Let's see if we get something. No, nothing. All right, that's it. So we finished the three days, three trading days at plus 3.6K with one or two contracts every trade. And the risk on those was about you know $500 risk or maximum up to about a thousand dollars we're risking but you know anywhere from about 400 to 1k we're risking per trade and you know if you have a 50k account that's about one to two percent so yeah to be really safe you'd want a 50 50k account size to be taking these kind of trades uh, but again 50k account size 3.6k in less than a week that's amazing because that's that's like six seven percent in less than a week i mean if you can average five percent a week you're doing amazing so give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it and make sure you look out for my next video coming out Wednesday night. Let me know if you like this and you want to see more of it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.